How high do you think rates can go in this cycle? There's a lot of discussion uh, at the Fed and economic circles uh, about the idea that we're in a period of secular stagnation and interest rates don't need to go up so much once this new cycle starts. Well, I mean, the uh, secular stagnation discussion is very interesting. It has two, two definitions, one of which I think everybody can accept. There's signs that productivity growth is much slower than it used to be. Uh, how do you think of that? Is that temporary or permanent? Well, if you're an optimist, and I am, you think we're going to get back to something which will take the economy to somewhere closer to 3% growth than to 2% growth because of the many innovations that you see around you all the time and because of the dynamism of this economy. Uh, that's just how much does our knowledge improve? How much does our technology improve? The other view is a more, uh, a more dark one, which says that uh, you've got to have negative interest rates to get full employment. That's a different definition. Uh, if that were the case, then uh, we couldn't raise the interest rate very much. I don't believe that's the case. Uh, our long-term interest rates are positive. That is the current interest rate minus expected inflation is positive. So I don't think that the markets think, nor do I think, that we need to operate with a negative interest rate over long periods to have a negative real interest rate to have full employment.